Got to Paul here from the locker room. If you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe. We're trying to reach 1,500 subscribers before the end of the year. And let's get into it. Jacob Verana has cleared waivers. And that is going to be very interesting to see how this situation plays out. Jacob Verana is known as a very good winger that has some good scoring ability. Jacob Verana entered the NHL assistance program and has only been active for two games this season thus far. His current cap hit is $5.25 million. He was on waivers for 24 hours and nobody claimed him. So this is going to be a very interesting situation for Iserman. What does he do? Does he hope that Verana can kind of find his game in the AHL level? Will he report to the AHL? AHL, or you try to get a piece back for a player that seems like he's not content in the current situation. Jacob Verana is still a young player, being only 26 years old, so this isn't like a guy that's way past his prime. Like He's got a lot of good hockey years left in him. Last season, in 26 games, he had 13 goals, 6 assists for 19 points, and Verana is known for his 5-on-5 scoring. He's had a couple seasons where he's over 20 goals. Unfortunately, Verana cannot play a full season. He has only played a full 82-game season once, and his highest total outside of that 82 is 73. So Verona cannot stay on the ice, and that can always kind of cause issues when it comes to production and getting into a rhythm. That being said, Verona is a very good hockey player that could definitely add some depth. In light of Jake DeBrusque getting banged up and being put on LTIR, do the Bruins knock on the Red Wings' door and see that, hey, is he available? And if so, would you be willing to eat any cap? Verona's still got one more year left on this deal. So this goes into the end of the 2023-2024 season. If someone can pick him up on the cheap and have the Red Wings eat some of that salary cap, it's a very enticing player to bring in. I mean, if you look at his career, he's a very productive player in 323 games, 98 goals, 91 assists for 189 points. That's a very good player that would add some depth scoring to a contender. I know for the Bruins, they have been kicked around with Patrick Kane, Jonathan Taves, even Bo Horvat. But I think realistically, a guy like this, if you could get their team to eat the cap, would make a little bit more sense. There's some risk involved because he was just in the player assistance program, but the potential is there for him to boom. I think with his scoring ability, it would add another layer of depth of scoring for the Bruins that would just make them even more difficult to play with. Now, what would I trade for a guy like Verona? Not too much because you are kind of rolling the dice, hoping he can get back to form because you don't know in particular what is going on and what happened in that situation. I'd be interested to know your thoughts down below. Do you think the Bruins should acquire Jacob Verona? If so, why? And what would you deal him for? And if not, let me know your opinions why. I'm Captain Paul, and I will see you in the next video.